Hi, in this video I'd like to go through file encryption within Visual Studio 2017 um, in visualbasics.net. Now to do file encryption we'll need to set up the AES which is the advanced encryption standard and after we set that up we will generate a encryptor that will encrypt our file using a password and a decryptor that will decrypt the file using a password. Now this file will be saved onto our hard drive so it's something that's already saved and um, the password will be something that um, we'll just use and you can use this from the user or you can have it as, a, as an input to encrypt or decrypt every time you need to encrypt or decrypt a file. Okay so let's get started. So what I've done is I've created a new project called file encryption and I've added two buttons in. The first button is encrypt file. I called it btn encrypt file. The second button is btn decrypt file. Now um, I want to set up the AES which is the advanced encryption standard that has all the encryption um, um, decryptors and encryptor modules for us and we want to do that once every time we load this program so I'll double click into form load and I'll create the AES in form load. Now you may notice here I've added two imports I've imported system.io and I've imported system.security.cryptography so we're using those two. Alright so First thing I want to do is um, create a AES. Now what I want to do is I want to create a AES um, which is a new ridge manage. All right, so this is the name of the people that developed this standard and they won and now everyone's following these standards. And we want to set up this. So we want to set up a few things. We want to set up its key size for our encryption. And you just need to follow this. You don't need to understand why I've cho uh, we've chosen these. But these are pretty much the standards that we follow. These are the uh, key size block size for the um, cipher mode that we'll be using. And the cipher mode that I'll be using today, or I like to use anyway, is the CBC. It's just the different cipher modes, it's different ways you can encrypt, and the one we'll be using is CBC. And these are the sizes for CBC, and we want to set as padding as well. Uh, you don't really need to understand what padding is, but it just makes the uh, co it just makes the data you're encrypting um, the blocks the same size, or at least the last block the same size. All right, so that's our setup. All right, that's our setup. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, well we need a we need a file. We need actually we need a we need something some some kind of file to encrypt. So let's just make a, a dummy file. Let's uh, put some lines in it. I'll create some new lines in this file. Let's go hello there. Uh, comma you you decrypted me decrypted me full set aside all right skipped at me and we'll 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 f go file dot write that all those lines into an input file of some sort Input. Let's go dim input file. Uh, let's call this nice. input.txt. Why not? I'll make it global because I'll be using it in my encryptor input file. Uh, what else do I need? And I also need the lines that I want to write into the input file. Let's just test that out. Make sure it's generated nicely. Save it up in Notepad. Yeah. 
and uh, the file is input file. Oops, input file. Right. Let's run that. Uh, block member type. Uh, block. Sorry, block size. Put size there. Right, there you go so that's a file created for us great so just remember that this is these so we're setting up the advanced encryption standard AES stands for advanced encryption standard and to these particular parameters we create a new file here and we've just showing the file don't need to show it anymore let's have a look at our time good good with the timing so now let's uh, create the encryptor so we're going to double click on this and we're going to create the encryptor so the encryptor will use this AES and generate an encryptor for us and we'll take in this input file and encrypt it to an, some kind of output encryption file now normally uh, you would replace it with the old file like you would replace it but because we're not sure if this is going to work we'll create a new encrypted file just to make sure it's all good alright so let's start so uh, first we'll start by uh, creating a key we need a key to a private key to encrypt our data and the, piece, uh, the, the key is going to be derived from a password that we'll use so we're going to password encrypt these files so what I'll do is I'll create a password and I'll call this uh, pass123 now you could get it from the user from a text box but I'll just put I'll just hard code it in there and then we need to generate a key now the key that we now the function to generate a private key from a password is is this particular standard that we'll use which is RFC to this one over here if you open bracket it takes in a password string and a salt in byte so we need to generate a salt here so it takes a password and need, we need to generate a salt salt bytes of some sort now we don't have we haven't generated this so it's got an error there so we need to actually create that let's create that as a global and let's generate this one this um, uh, in generate this in uh, as a global as a, as bytes yeah, 32 32 bytes which is 31 because it starts from zero no s uh, actually, in this in this syntax, we put it here. Just sort of sort of forget my Visual Basics there. All right, so so now we need to generate this, and we'll generate in the uh, form load for now. And I'll decide what uh, later what I uh, if I want to change it. So let's generate from zero to to thirty one. That's thirty two bytes. We'll just We'll, just, we'll make it simple. We'll we'll go bytes, and we we'll just chuck in zero, the numbers from zero to thirty-one. So we just go i equals i. How's that? So this will always generate the same salt for us. All right. So um, good practice would be to randomly generate the salt, and we could put the salt in the file in the encrypted file, and then read it out every time we decrypt it. So we read the salt from the file and then we decrypt the file, the rest of the file. We could do that. But for now, I'll just generate the same salt. And what I'll do is I need to now set a few things. I need to give this key to the AES. So I gotta go, that key, I gotta give it to the AES. Get, uh, what is it? Get, uh, get bytes. Sorry, that was key dot get. Bytes, get bytes, AES, key size, divided by 8. And you don't need to worry about why I divide by 8, but it, it, it gets it to, uh, it basically there's 8, uh, there's 8 bits in a byte. 
Um, so we're grabbing this key, which is his, this thing. We're getting the byte from it, and we're chucking it into the AES, which is this thing. And we're going to use the AES later to, to create our encryptor and decryptor modules. Um, we need an uh, IV as well. I'm going to set this up. Key dot IV. Okay, IV uh, oh, hang on. Was same thing. Key dot get byte. Same deal. Well, AES block size instead for this one. Divide by eight as well. So we set up our IV as well. Gets bytes. Alright. Okay, so now we need our files that we'll read in and uh, in. Well, one we need to read the file that we read want to read in. So let's go file in. And our file in will be a file stream, and our file in will be input file. And our, our mode, because it's uh, in, it's going to be an open mode. Alright, uh, we also need a file out. It's going to be a file stream as well. Now our file out will be the encrypted.txt. Encrypted.txt. And our access mode is well, we we need to create this file. So file mode is create. All right now, all right. So now we need to generate our encryptor. So to generate our encryptor, we need to get the AES. Uh, sorry, we need the crypto stream. So we go, we go crypto. Ah. We just call it crypt stream equals new crypto stream. That's just kind of confusing. Let's just call it crypt. Right. Crypt. Uh, so this thing takes in our. What does it take in? It takes in the stream, the input stream. So we'll go file input stream oh hang on let me just double check there it takes in the sorry the output stream because we're encrypting it takes in the output stream because we're gonna write into the output stream we encrypt into the output stream then we need to use the AES module to create our encryptor and we need to give it the the crypto, the crypto stream, a mode, which is the write mode, because we're writing the encryption data into it. And this should be, sorry, fs out, the file, the file stream out. And this crypto stream mode, mode is the write mode. All right. Now, next. Now that we've created this uh, this stream, we can now um, generate a buffer to generate a buffer of some sort. Now, this buffer is going to be used to uh, used to read from the input file. So the length can be input file stream. Let's write. Then we read, we basically get the input file, the input stream, and we read out into the buffer. So we read it out into the buffer. So we read it out into the buffer. So we read it out into the buffer, 